Okay, I have my KitchenAid bowl and then I have my scale. I've got my Shea butter and I have my infused lavender grapeseed oil. Okay, here's my Shea butter. And I'm just gonna scoop it out and I'm gonna add it to my KitchenAid bowl. Making body butter is definitely a process. There is a lot of steps to it. Um, but the finished product is always so rewarding just to see how everything turns out. Sometimes I, I literally feel like a little artist when I make my body butter because I just love the way that it turns out. So as you see here, I am adding my Shea butter to my KitchenAid bowl. And today I'm making a total of 10 lavender body butters. For this body butter, I am using lavender as the main herb that I use to infuse my grapeseed oil in. I love to use grapeseed oil for my body butters because grapeseed oil is a lightweight oil so it's going to absorb more easily into the skin. In my body butters, I love to use herbs that are very beneficial for the skin. In this body butter, I'm only doing lavender. I use lavender because lavender is very soothing to the skin. It has that nice calming fragrance. Lavender is anti-inflammatory, it's antifungal, it's antimicrobial, making it just a very great herb for the skin. So as you can see here, I'm melting down my body butter. I'm using a double broiler method because I don't want to get my oil too hot. So um, I'm doing it on a very, very low heat. Once my body butter is melted down, once I melted down my body butter, I put it in the fridge and let it sit and I let it sit overnight because I want to have a really creamy whipped consistency for my body butter. I mixed it very well with my KitchenAid and it still has a little bit of bumps after mixing it with that so I used my hand mixer. I added some natural kaolin clay to my body butter and this is the finished product. I love the way that it turns out every single time I make it.